In this video, let's learn about the SSR and CSR page options in SwelteGet. We can specify both SSR and CSR options in either a page.js or page.server.js file. Let's use them in our products route. Within products, within page.js, I'm going to export two constants. Export const SSR is equal to true and export const CSR also equal to true. True is the default value for both SSR and CSR, which means we shouldn't see any difference in behavior from what we have already seen. With a console log in place for the universal load function, we can head back to the browser and navigate to slash products from the URL. We see the log statement in the browser console as well as the terminal. Code is running on the server first and then on the browser. Since the HTML is already generated on the server, if we preview the response, we should see all the HTML present. This is great for SEO and performance. Now let's tweak these two options individually and see what happens. First, I'm going to set SSR to false. Now our code does not run on the server, but only in the browser. If we refresh the page, you can see the load function log in the browser, but not in the terminal. Page.server.js, by the way, is the server load function and not our universal load function. If we go back to the network panel and preview the response, you can see it is blank. Take a look at the code and we have just the div tag with display contents. JavaScript is loaded, which then executes to mount the HTML elements onto the DOM. A good use case for CSR only page option is when you're building the admin section of your website. You don't necessarily need SEO and you'll probably save server expenses as you don't have to generate HTML on every request. Next, I'm going to flip the two values. SSR true, CSR false. If I refresh the slash products page, you can see that the log statement is not present in the browser console, but is present in the terminal. So the code does not execute in the browser. If we take a look at the response preview, we see all the content present, which makes this a viable option when SEO is important. Of course, if the page requires JavaScript, both true is the way to go. However, if you don't have the necessity for JavaScript, this combination is what you need. A use case could be a news listing page where it is just content being displayed and SEO is pretty important, but interactivity, not so much. The final option is both set to false. And you might have guessed it already, but when I refresh, you can see a blank page. Code does not run on the server or in the browser, and that is something you don't necessarily want. So the SSR and CSR page options control whether code should be run on the server, in the browser, or both. In the next video, let's learn about pre-rendering and how it is different from these two options. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.